There goes nothing. Oh, I found my torch the other day. Now we have it. Let's get this syrup warmed up and we'll keep it warm while we add the new stuff. Outside, enjoy and make a nice maple syrup from the outdoor kitchen. Let's get a fire going in the cook stove. What's the temperature? I think it's 215. Nice. Where'd you find that? There was a part buried in the kindling box. So this was off, like the bottom of the kindling box, and this was sitting on top. I do that. I don't know why it's part. I must have used up one of the eggs. Oh, I, I didn't know where it went. So, this is what I was thinking. Since we got it rolling boil, we can go collect more sap. And once that sap is boiled down like halfway, we'll keep the Kubota over the bucket with the faucet cracked a little bit so it's just draining sap in without killing the boil. You want to collect some more sap? Yeah. All right. So, it's just that easy. Collecting syrup, that'd be nice. Huh? And then we can put a pot out here and get our soup on the wood stove. Get our soup warm enough for lunch. Skimming off the scum, the foam. I think it's crazy how much it's like already you there, got an amber color to it. Right Feels good, don't it? It didn't take too long to get that up to a boil. There's a lot in there. Yeah, 17 gallons. Yeah, it takes 40 gallons to make one gallon of syrup. I think they just tell you do this so you have something to do. I think we'll get at least one gallon. Yeah. What do you think? They just tell you do this so you have something to do? No, I think they tell you that to get it off. It's like when you're making a bone broth. You want to get all the scum out so it's not in, it doesn't get into the syrup or the bone broth and give you a nasty flavor. How much do you think we got in here? Anything in it? Um, yeah, there's something in it. It's very light. We're not going to add this to the barrel yet. Okay. We'll go collect the other ones first and see. You ready? Okay, drive it away. Before you pull the hose out, check it and see. Because if there's nothing in there, we don't need to take it. There's like nothing in there. Nothing in there? Some, we'll dump it into this one. Yeah. Nope. We might as well 
take it over while we're boiling. Nothing. Man! Nothing. Wow. Let's check this tree. A little bit. The other two had nothing. Really? Really. I checked this one yesterday afternoon and I thought we were going to have a lot of sap today. That one's got a good amount, so I thought all of them would have a good amount today. It tricked me. How'd Big Bertha do? Huh? How'd Big Bertha do? Did you get a lot of sap? Did you get a lot? I'm looking out. All right, let's see. This is from the biggest tree on the property. Nah, not too bad. Mm -hmm. you want to hold that? Yeah, it was a good amount. Um, Ready to bring it back to mom? We can stop boiling this down too. Yeah. All right. Oh, you got your puppy dog. Yeah. Pluto got a haircut yesterday, so she's about half the size as she was. Look at the rat dog. boiled down about half of it so far at least. So that's good. Now it seems to be going a lot quicker that we got a lot of the water out. And it's starting, I don't think you can see it, so much vapor vaporizing, but it's starting to get a nice caramelized color. It's actually vaporizing really good right now. Well, we've got to turn the camera on while we're eating lunch, but the soup is pretty darn good. It's just as good, if not better, for the second time as leftovers. It was probably even better because we got to cook it on the antique wood cook stove. We're almost there, let me show you. We got, I don't know, an inch or so of sappy water in there, so pretty soon we'll be pouring it off and bringing it in the house to finish it up. Oh man, I think it's almost ready. You can't even see in there. Let's shut this off. Under the... Don't want to waste any of it. Out of, say, 19 gallons of sap, we're down to less than a gallon right here.
Hey, my pour all that. Get yep, when I get back to a boil, keep an eye on it. So it's not 100% ready yet, you want to try it? Sure. Is it hot? It's yeah, going to be warm. Hot. Mmm, yummy. Is that good? Yeah. You want to try it, Mom? Yeah. Tastes like maple syrup, but it still tastes like sap. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it really only needs a little bit more, and then it'll look yeah, I can't do it with this hand. It needs, there's not much extra water still yeah, left exactly. in it. Yeah, exactly. It's getting close. It's really good. Mmm. Is that going to be good on pancakes tomorrow? Yes. You're excited? Yeah. Okay. We're so close to being there, but the kitchen stove was taking way too long. We've been in the house for an hour, and it hasn't changed. So I brought it outside, and I'm just going to... Keep an eye on it and go slow out here. And hopefully we'll be ready for bottling it in a little bit. It smells delicious. Okay, we're boiling, we're getting close. One way of checking it. I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature and I'm looking to see if the drips are thicker than water and if they're hanging on to the spoon. Not quite there yet, but. I think within the next 15 minutes we'll be there. We all tasted it, we said it's good, and Olivia said she can already taste it on her pancakes. Didn't you? Yep. Yep. So we're gonna shut it off, strain it, and bottle it. Yeah. Alright, go for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll get two jars, I think. Maybe if we're lucky, we might even get three. So, so far we've done pig processing, chicken processing, and now maple syrup in our outdoor kitchen. Yep. Yep. And I think the sweetest one so far has been maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And now we're all sticky. I'm not. You're not. You will be. Yeah, I will be. So can you believe it took 17 gallons of sap to make this? No. Oh, I am, because there's a little sticky on there. Oh, you're sticky, yeah. sticky no. now. You're sticky now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. We got three and three quarters. I bet you if you figure all that we drank and tested and what we dropped on the counter and the sticky messes everywhere, we would have had <laughs> four quarts. That's pretty exciting. I'm happy with that. For our first time making syrup. That was fun. That was fun. Cool beans. It's nothing you can rush. No, it's not a process you can rush. It definitely takes its time. Mm -hmm. So, cool. We got just shy of a gallon. Take a picture of it to Grandpa. I have to. Thanks for coming along on our crazy first time maple syrup journey with us today, huh? Mm -hmm. So now we just gotta hope that the sap keeps on running and next weekend we can do the same thing. What do you think? Make some more. That's exciting. We'll have to make a little write down somewhere. You'll have to write down how much we've made. So if we give some away we can remember. And then when we have some for pancakes tomorrow, at the end of the season we'll know how much we made. If you're new to the channel, now's a great opportunity to subscribe, and while you're down there, turn on notifications, and hopefully YouTube will let you know when we upload a video, go live, or post something through our community tab. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Lumna Acres. Hey guys, to modern home setting, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. 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 Stock. <laughs>